Two Tan family members of two brothers who were shot and killed on the streets of Oakland say they worry they will not get justice. The family says Alameda County prosecutors offered the suspect a plea deal that could drastically reduce the number of years the defendant faces in prison. A sentencing hearing is set for Thursday. KTVU's Amber Lee reports. They work to put a roof over their parents' head, over their family's heads. Every single paycheck they received then went to their parents. The Masui family is preparing to fight for justice for two brothers, Sweetie Masui and his younger brother Manasse. They were shot and killed. I don't think you have to read your letter. Their deaths leave a void that cannot be filled. It felt like we were reliving their funerals, just, you know, everyone sitting around looking broken. It's not the same. In the early morning hours of September 26, 2021, family members tell me 20-year-old Manasseh was involved in a physical altercation with an acquaintance, suspect Sam Vamo, in front of the brother's apartment on High Street in Oakland. It's unclear what the fight was about, but relatives say the two brothers were walking away when Vamo shot both of them. They died at the scene. My boy's not here anymore, you know? I don't have Sweetie to talk to anymore, you know? This is something, this is something I think about a lot. Compounding the family's grief, they tell me they learned recently that the DA's office is offering a plea deal to the suspect that would reduce murder charges to voluntary manslaughter. They say if approved, Vemao would face a total of nine years instead of 25 years to life for each murder charge he originally faced. The victim's cousin, Vita, says she's attended every court hearing in this case. I felt like I failed my family. I failed my brothers. Yeah, I was just outraged by it. Feedy says this is Sweetie coming home after a religious mission in observance of their Mormon faith. He was planning to get married before he was killed. Younger brother Manasseh loved to sing and spend time with his family. Both brothers worked in the family construction business. Angry. I was sad that this is what we've come to. Um, all of it, I, I felt betrayed by my city. Family members say they will not give up their fight for justice. The sentencing hearing is scheduled for Thursday at the Alameda County Courthouse. It's up to the judge to decide whether to accept or reject the plea deal. The family hopes the case will go to trial. The DA's office tells me they have no comment at this time. Mike? Amber, do we know if the district attorney or the office, any of the prosecutors actually approached the family and asked their take on whether or not should they reduce the, this possible sentence here? The family tells me that the DA's office never asked them for any input. In fact, they were told that it's not up to the family to decide whether a plea deal is good enough. All right, Amber Mike? Lee, live tonight in the city of Oakland. Amber, thank you for that. The man accused of killing his ex